It's your boy Young Cantu coming at you with a fight review. Jermall Charlo retains his WBC 160 pound middleweight champion by beating Sergey Devryevchenko by unanimous decision. Stay tuned. It's the champ! Cantu! Where'd you find this? Jamal Charlo puts on an impressive performance against a formidable opponent in Sergey Devryevchenko. He wins by unanimous decision and retains his WBC belt. This was a good performance by Jamal. And, uh, you know, let's review this fight. Early in the fight, I gave the first five rounds to Jamal Charlo. I thought he controlled Sergey with the end of his jab. Um, I didn't see Sergey able to get inside early in the fight. I have some notes here saying, you know, Charlo's jab was effective. Uh, he was controlled. He was using his range and he was walking Jerry Evchenko into his right hands as well as his uppercuts. And something I was very impressed with by Jamal was the variety of punches he throws. He was leading with hooks, following up with uppercuts, and then he was sticking the jab and not allowing Sergey to close the distance in those first five rounds. Uh, at the end of the third round, Charlo hurt Devryevchenko with a counter right hand at the end of the round and then he followed up with a left hook staggered Devryevchenko uh, but wasn't able to put him down and a lot of credit to Sergey. He's got a good chin man. He was taking some flush blows in this fight but was he never went down in the fight. Um, at the end of the fourth round is when we saw Sergey Devryevchenko starting to have some success. He started landing some body shots on Jamal. I still scored it for Jamal but Devryevchenko started to turn it up a little bit in that fourth. In the fifth round, uh, Jamal Charlo cut Sergey Devryevchenko over the right eye with a left hook. And uh, Devryevchenko still started to work strong on the inside, but it wasn't enough to win the round. I gave the sixth round to Sergey Devryevchenko. Uh, because Jamal Charlo's output kind of dropped in those middle rounds. I gave 6, 7, and 8 to Devryevchenko, but they were close. They were all close rounds. Mainly, I just saw Charlo getting a little bit fatigued. And we saw Devryevchenko back him up to the ropes. Landed some nice body shots, some nice hooks. Um, but you never really saw Charlo too hurt. You, you know... He's never a guy who we see staggered or in trouble or hurt. And in this fight, I don't think he got hurt. I think he took some punches that kind of put him off balance and backed him up. Uh, you know, because Sergey is a good fighter. But uh, the sixth round, I gave to Sergey Devryochenko. Good inside work. Charlo less active in that round. The seventh round was very, very close. I gave it to Devryochenko because I still thought that he was being the aggressor. And... Um, Devryochenko landed some left hooks. Charlo was sticking the jab in that round. I gave that one to Sergey Devryochenko, but that one could have went either way. The eighth round was really close. Uh, Devryochenko started off strong, really strong, backing up Charlo with left hooks to the body uh, and combinations. But Charlo landed a big right hand toward the end of the round and could have easily took that round. I gave that one to Sergey, however. The ninth round, Charlo's jab and Charlo just, you know, ring generalship using uh, the distance and control. And, you know, Charlo, he was really in control most of the fight other than those few middle rounds where Devryevchenko backed him up and, uh, you know, against the ropes. Charlo was in control. He looked really mature. His jab, his right hands, the uppercuts, uh, just a, a star performance by Charlo, a very impressive uh, performance by Charlo, a formidable champion he is. Uh, the 10th round I gave to Devryevchenko because he, you know, he was still being the aggressor. But all the rounds that Devryevchenko won, it wasn't like Charlo was ever in trouble or he was in dire straits. It just seemed to me like he got fatigued and he, was, he wasn't in a position to, you know, throw out offense. And that's when Sergey was able to take advantage and steal a couple of those middle rounds. Uh, but the, the last couple rounds I gave to Charlo, he looked like the man in control. He looked like the guy who was winning. Um, unanimous decision by Charlo. Great performance. I got the punch stats right here. Charlo landed 219 out of one. Charlo landed 219 out of 627. That's a 35% clip. 
and uh, Sergey Derevchenko landed 180 punches out of 681. That's a 26% clip. So Sergey threw more punches, but Charlo was more effective, and he had a higher percentage of landed punches. Great defense by Jamal Charlo. I gotta say, he's taken a step forward in his career. He looks a lot more mature. He looks seasoned. He looks like a champion on top. He's gonna be tough to beat at 160. And I think a, a fight against Canelo Alvarez is gonna be a great matchup if it ever gets made. But, you know, I really believe Charlo is a guy who can reign in the middleweight division for a long time. I think this fight tonight against Daryevchenko. Uh, is a great step forward for him and his experience and just the way he carried himself he's going to be able to build off this performance and he's going to be tough to beat trust me thanks for tuning in it's your boy young can stay tuned hit the like button subscribe air show coming at you